Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfect Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is part 20. In this video session guys, we will discuss action hook called manage underscore post type underscore post underscore custom column. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys in our previous video session means in our part 19 what actually we done just go to administrator panel inside part number 19 video guys we have registered a custom post type called book okay where we actually added our custom columns like book title book author book amount so these are the columns in our part 19 we have added with our custom post type book so in that video session we have a question that how can we supply those data means data for these columns okay so that's why this action hook comes into play okay by using this action hook guys we can actually supply data for those columns okay so just back to editor so far guys this is the plugin so far we have developed along with the playlist of WordPress hook tutorial okay so in our part 19 by the help of this function also we have made a filter so by using these two concepts we have added our custom columns okay next we have to supply the data for these columns okay so just I want to define our action hook called add action basically we have to supply by using this action hook so just make copy of that and paste inside the add action first parameter okay so now we have to replace this placeholder post type because as we know that we have registered our custom post type with the post type called book okay so just copy this book scroll down we have to replace this placeholder with our book type okay so manage book post custom column next we have to pass call the callback function okay so let's say OWT custom post type book data okay next we have to define this callback function so just copy that function function name inside this function block guys we are going to supply data okay so supply data for custom post type book okay so just scroll down so right now guys inside this callback function we are going to means bind some of the parameters or we are going to pass some of the parameters inside this callback function okay so what are actually those parameters so first of all let's say that this is the priority of execution of this action hook and we are going to pass two arguments inside this function okay so first parameter is something called the column name okay so something called column name and the second something called post ID okay inside this video session guys we are not going to longer use of post ID okay this is only for the concept how can we use this post ID inside this function block but inside this video session we are not going to use this okay so now what is column name and what is post ID here so basically column name means that these are the column names called CB title author amount and date these are the IDs that we have defined in our part number 19 okay these are the specific column names and what is post ID so because basically if you go to administrator panel as we know that this is a WP list table okay here we have suppose thousands of records inside this WP list table okay so basically while rendering each row inside this WP list table each row behaves as a single post okay because as we know that when we create any add new book then all the books actually list inside this WP list table okay so each book has post ID okay so this callback function runs for every row inside this WP list table okay that's why it is useful so basically we are going to supply some of the data inside those columns okay so first of all it's a switch we are going to apply switch case so finally we have to pass this column name inside the switch case okay and let's say that when we find case equal to something called CB this is the checkbox ID so if I scroll top just down and now this is ID okay so when we suppose find our checkbox ID so in that case what actually we are going to output we are just going to output a simple checkbox so let's say echo inside here we are going to define our checkbox so input type let's say checkbox okay and close this finally let's pass a name section so this is let's say book row 
okay this is only the name attribute that we have passed in the second case and finally we have to make break break here okay so in second case suppose we actually find the ID is something called title okay so just copy that let's say that CB instead of CB we have to pass title so after finding the title section okay so let's say that echo call sample title okay this is the dummy data actually we feed for this column now okay and finally break also case for the author section okay this is for the author section so just scroll down and let's say echo online web tutor and finally break for this column also if we suppose find something called amount so let's say echo only 40 rupees okay and finally let's say break here case and it's time for date now okay so let's say echo current date time so let's say y m d okay and finally let's say break okay or simply we can specify any date right here okay so let's say that 12 12 and let's say 2018 okay so this is the dummy date that we have provided so basically guys these are the dummy data that actually feed for our first row okay basically by finding these columns by finding these columns actually the action of that we have associated is something like that so after finding these columns this actually callback function will fire after finding these columns these data automatically get attached with those columns okay so if we just save this file go to browser reload this page just click on add new button and now we are going to add our first post inside this books post type okay so let's say that learn cake php okay so just i want to pass some description for this so this is test content for the cake php book okay so if i click on publish button and now our first book has been published okay so just click on book section so now as we can see guys these are the informations that as we can we have filled this is the book title this is the checkbox this is the title and this is the author but now as you have remembered that while adding book we haven't passed 40 amount so actually from where actually 40 is coming so just go to code section remember we have passed amount section as 40 okay so if suppose we don't pass any amount then default value has been actually applied but actually as we know guys that actually the checkbox section title section author and the date section actually wordpress default provides okay so if you go to the post section just click on that and as we can see that the checkbox section it means that we have checkbox already okay so just get rid of that this is not a custom column this is title section so again title section is not our custom column okay again as we can see the author details okay it means that the wordpress defines wordpress actually gives the author name as a default property okay so just get rid of that also as we have date also okay so just get rid of that also so right now we have only one custom column okay so that's why actually it has picked only 40 values okay again if just scroll up let's add another column something let's say that book email okay something called email okay so let's say that book email okay and also let's pass the key something called book underscore email okay e should be small so this is a custom column wordpress actually does not provide this column as on the wp listable column names okay so just scroll down this is our custom column so we want to provide our own values so just make case statement so basically if case it should be something called book email okay so in that case let's say that echo so just i'm going to pass the dummy email it's online web tutor hub at gmail.com okay and also finally break here so this is the email that we have passed inside this book email section okay so just go to browser reload this page 
and now as we can see that here is the custom column that we have added and here is the data that we have passed okay so as we know guys that these are the columns like checkbox title author and the date section actually wordpress default provides and now these are the custom columns and now according to these custom columns we have set our own custom data so basically guys by the help of video session called part number 19 and part number 20 we understood that how can we actually add our custom columns to custom post type okay so by using our filter hook called manage underscore post type underscore post column by using this filter hook we have made our custom columns okay and also by using action hook called manage underscore post type and this is the action hook by using this action hook we actually passed our custom data to these custom columns okay so I think guys that I have made much more clear concept about how can we make our custom columns to WP list table and also as we have seen that how can we supply the data for those columns okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day